Hello, comrades. It's Premier River, and I am back again at the city of Neuve Rivergrad. Those of you who've watched many of the episodes know or followed it from the beginning. There are times when I must step in and straighten out my ministers and get people to work correctly. So I have been paying personal attention to why people are unhappy here in the Bricksville area, particularly this one. You know, they're not terribly happy, but I really want to get rid of. Let's take a look. I know a lot of people are always curious about the population. Our population has been suffering a bit. You can even see it going down there because we're getting too many darned escapes. Now, this is just for this month. If we do last month, we had 200 and some escapes. So I'd really like to get a handle on that over the next couple episodes. And the reason I say the next couple episodes, I went around and looked. And most of our towns are happy. I really do think they're coming from here. I kind of wish there was maybe a better way to figure it out if they are. And, you know, at this point, you know, this, this section is pretty happy. This one is moderately happy. So if we come here and click, you can see we have, you know, quite a bit of happiness going on there where they shouldn't be escaping from here. Now, they're not at the maximum numbers. So it sounds like they were escaping at a certain point. Now, if you've watched like the live stream in the last couple episodes, you'll know that we put people in here with the intention of having them work in our shop. So at this point, you know, the few times I've looked, we're not totally overloading the shop, but it, it still happens. So what we're doing is we're working towards getting like this bridge built and this new section of town built which will get us some more workers for another radio station, right? There's no reason they can't come in here and work. And in addition, they can work in this store over here. So one of the problems is some of the shoppers are coming over to here. Now, I've kind of just sort of closed my eyes and ignored that for the moment. But what I would like to do is just get this going kind of ASAP. I mean, it's not that urgent in some ways. It's not going to ruin it. But I also got to thinking if I was going to do another thing over here, I would like to take a look at the effect on sports. Like this one's set for cultural entertainment. And we still have this one to build. What is this guy? I really am a little confused about this sports thing. So I want to go around and say, okay, let's do the anti-religious one in, in this one that's not built yet, right? So I would think that you would put this towards negative if you didn't want them to do alcohol, right? So this is this television station. Right, preference for alcohol, no, no preference for alcohol. And then this one over here, is it a preference for sports or is it enthusiasm for sports, right? That's a big, big difference. Or, or I should say, it's not gonna give them any sports, right? It's just gonna make them less likely to want sports. Is that, right? Like, if I give them enthusiasm for sports, does that make their sports score go up or down? I hope you can understand maybe my confusion. Maybe if somebody knows, leave a comment. It's one of the reasons I'm doing it in the beginning of the video. I think people are far more likely to watch the first five or ten minutes, even if they're not going to watch the whole video. And so if you happen to know, please leave me a comment. Is this what we want to do? Now, you know, what does this mean? If we leave it neutral, they're not going to do anything, right? So if we come over to here, we don't have anybody that's making it to this radio station. So maybe we do education here. I think I got, what, Soviet propaganda here. So then we'll do the anti-religious in the last one. So my question is, by putting this one all the way to the negative, does that mean they don't want sports anymore? And then, therefore, they will stop wanting sports and their happiness will go up. Right? We say, oh, sports is bad, and then this score goes up. So we'll see when this section of town gets built and we can get some workers in there and we'll get workers over to this. Now, one thing I think we can do relatively quickly, I think this town, yeah, this town's doing real well for people and they're educated. I just want to take a few more and dump them into this building just to keep this one full. All right, so if we take a look, I'm not sure what happened there, but we got 79 workers. <laughs> I'm not sure why I didn't see the numbers going down. But there we go. So that, that should just make sure. See, there we go. We've got you know pretty close to the max and i think that's one of the things that's been keeping people unhappy is that when they do f 
when you're doing it by train, you're not getting people there as well as if they were walking. Their travel time's longer. I don't know how long they wait in front of the shop, but you really, if you're going to do this, you really don't want them waiting in front of the shop. So, so hopefully that'll help cure it. And then, of course, when we get this one going, that much, all the better, right? Now, I've also been eyeing up the possibility, like I did here, where instead of having these trains go in a big, huge loop, I would actually split the loop into half. And I think we could maybe, if we get rid of this footpath, which is not hypercritical, I mean, I see people are using it, maybe we could get it out of the way, you know, bring it over this way a little bit more as far as the foot. That might even be good anyhow, right? Serve this, these houses a little better. If we can just get them to here, they should be able to walk in like to this part of the, the uh, university. And, and we could bring this, you know, like two tracks in here. One would peel off this way, and then the other one would peel off this way. And then we would do the same thing here, where we would have half the trains go into this, this stop, and then the other half go into this stop. But let's see, we can always do that in the future, right? And, I, and I, like I said, if even worst case scenario, I would take out one of these things. I think it's important enough that we get this shopping situation. And, and I don't want to just build stores up in here because this is my experiment of, of, of learning and, and whatnot to get people in here. Now, just for those of you who haven't heard me say it, I think another big problem is this is not a bridge. We, ne we need to get a bridge across here. Now, my fear is that while I'm doing that bridge, we're going to have problems with people. This is going to cause problems with the shop. And the reason is, I mean, I was watching it a little bit anyway, and these buses are just really getting jammed up. They're like back to back. So you're not getting a good flow of people and workers from this bus stop to this one because there's no bridge here. So as soon as this one gets done, which I think will help alleviate some of the issues, we'll you know, and, and, and this all gets done, we'll get people into this shopping and then at least it won't be as big a catastrophe when we go to build this bridge. Because I would like to build this in real time, not just, you know, pay for my mistakes type thing. And we might even consider, yeah, it might not be a bad idea. I don't know how far they'll be. Let's see, what does it say there? It's only 130. Why don't we start, yeah, let's build a footpath just, just real quick. Like across here. I don't think that'll interfere with anything, right? And then try to take it as far down this way. Maybe if we, I don't know if, I think, eh, I don't know if we'll get a bridge in there or not. Um, well, let's see, can we kind of gauge a bridge? Yeah, see, I, I don't think that's enough. I think we're gonna have to go a little further. How far is this bridge? Let's let's put on the wireframe so we can see. Yeah, see this one goes all the way out to here. Right, let me try to hold my mouse right on that. And I'm gonna assume we're gonna need like that kind of space. Like here-ish. Yeah, so this footpath would have to come. I don't wanna get too close. Let's have it come in that other door, and I think that might be still close enough, because the trains will keep running through our whole little construction. Well, might as well bring that all the way down to here, right? See what I mean by this door here? We'll get... Right, and that should be out of the way, and I think there's still a chance that if we destroy this, they'll be able to walk around there. Right? And so these guys have 10 million projects. But I think this is a pretty, I went around and gave, con so we have time to talk, just people construction projects to do. All right. I should be able to get to all these. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll just assign all those and hopefully they'll get them done in their own good time. All right, there we go. So that's, that's what I wanted to say about Neuve Revergrad. And I, I don't think that will, I think doing, even just this bridge, I think is going to have a pretty good effect. Those of you who watched know that like, People that were in this house had a very low happiness. So even, even just putting some people in here to make sure that store has like pretty close to the maximum workers all the time, I think has really had a big positive impact, which just really convinced me that this bridge is 100% necessary. You can see, look, we're piling in tons of people. Look at all those people coming out of the... Da -da -da. 
Now you guys are walking. Oh, you guys, look at that. They're just like banging for the cinema. Boy, look at all those people looking for cinema. Now, see, that's the other thing, too. Like, I would think if their happiness was high, why would they... Well, let's see. All the more reason to get this cinema and this thing going over here. And, you know, I, I am starting to work on this bus stop because I realize we'll probably need to ship some extra people towards this area. If nothing else, you know, get our Communist Party headquarters working. But let's come back to this. We'll let it ride for a little while. And, and we're just... Oops, there's nobody in that one. Yeah, see, like... Well, now there, there's not many people in here, but yeah, I can't get mood. For, yeah, they're really having a hard time getting into here. So we'll see. Let's see. Yeah, and see, this is what I, they, I can't stand that they're sitting in. And I, we have there's a train stop near my house, not too far, sort of on my way where I used to work. Like it was kind of like this. There was a train stop right here, and you'd end up sitting there, and the train's just sitting in the darn station. It was pretty frustrating. You know, it'd be nice if they could fix that <laughs> in any event all right so what else there's a few other things i'd like to do before we get more into the escapes and i, and I went around to all of my other towns and i and i really think that that's the biggest part of it but in the last episode we more or less finished this up now i want to do something because i was looking and we have this construction office here but one of the problems that we have is that and I put this little connector so we could get a train into here to start, well, just for permanent trains, but we really don't have a way for our construction office. And I moved two railway cranes up here to start working on things. We don't really have a way for them to get in here too well at this point. So they can come up this way, but they can't necessarily get in and start working. So it's a little bit of a pain they could come up this way if we get them a crisscross and maybe we'll do the just for the sake of of not of my gray hairs in a sense hey, let me get rid of these uh, you know what? i don't really want to mess with those anyway do I? I think about it but let's come in here and see can we get there you go All right, and then we'll commit to that. I committed to all the stuff, you know, got it. It's not white in here anymore since the last episode, just so if I could assign those. So I think what I'm going to do is just purchase these sections at least up until the point past the crisscross. All right, so that we don't have to fight the traffic signaling and trains fighting with each other the whole time. Kind of nice, you can select two at a time. And let's put in a signal. I think that'll be enough to get them in there. But I probably could go ahead and they... Yeah, let's just put one here and here. Hopefully that, that's pretty good to go. Now, so that means they can get into here and do, you know, this fairly limited amount of track. They still can't get into here. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting another track like this way and this would mostly just be for construction purposes all right where we'd come up to here well, let's go run it long a little bit uh, let's get rid of this signal yeah we'll come off of like here say rid of that right so if we can get them into here then they can then they can do whatever else they need to do and I'm not messing up trains am I no and let's see how are we gonna do that yeah it would be nice if we could come off right here let's yeah, see so we're not gonna be able to get a signal in there but we could probably yeah let's get rid of these signals for a minute and we're just going to come as close to this one as we can without... Oops, not that kind of track, this kind of track. Yeah, I guess that's as close as it's going to let me. All right, this, this will cause a few problems. And actually, does that really... makes this not so smart anymore. 
Yeah, we might get rid of what I just did over there. All right, let's... Yeah, and this is really just for construction purposes. All right, so let's get rid of this. That makes sense. And then we'd put a crisscross in here as well. It's a lot better if you do it on the straight section of track. All right, and then let's commit to all of that. And then we'll purchase for similar reasons. Right, and then we'll put in two chain signals. And then, having done that, let's see. Let's send one of these guys out to work on this one. Now, I don't even know if we have people Send that guy out to work on that one, but we really probably could use two more c cranes, right? Now we can get in here either which way. Uh, we really need to get this stop done, though. All right, because if this isn't done, then they can't go up and in on the other track. And this is not a huge project for, I mean, it's, it's a lot of squiggly, it's a lot of connections, but it's not, it's not that much track delay in some, in some respects, so... Now let's see, do we have everything flowing here? Yeah, we've got workers. I guess I never really shut this one off. We'll see if they start running out of stuff, but for now they seem to have all the stuff they need. I did shut off this one, which is basically just taking a few dumpers and whatnot and putting them in here and the buses that were, they were just running back and forth. I probably could do the same thing here. Yeah, see like, oops, I missed. Let's just take these two, Let's stick them in here. We, we don't need, it's just a waste to have them running back and forth. Okay, how are we doing on gravel? Ooh, look at that, we are running low on gravel. That is a problem. So is there any problem up here? No. All right, so we just, you know, don't have, we're not just not making enough gravel at this point, which is, you know, when I, I did get asked the question during the live stream, why don't you build more construction offices? And it's, you know, and I said, well, because we might run out of steel. Well, in this case, it looks like we're running out of gravel, but we're paving. And then eventually what we'll do is we'll have a problem with steel, right? Because I've just been focusing in on like getting all of these roads paved and, and we just sort of have a lot of construction in the same phase. We've been, you know, we've been doing a lot of road paving up into here and, and same thing with road paving over here. So I think it's just, we're doing too much road paving for our one little gravel plant. And which probably means I should just, as I go around, I'm not going to panic about it, but I'm going to tend to Say, hey, well, guys, why don't you start working on more buildings, which take more manpower and, you know, don't use the gravel up quite so quickly. You know, I never did look at these when I was. Ah, so we're, we're getting the coal mines done. So we're going to have an episode of designing. Yeah, we're definitely going to have an episode of designing uh, ore processors at some point in the near future. Not too urgent, but it's one of the one of the last design things we're going to do. So. So there we go. So that should be able to get them in constructing. Now do we, yeah, what is going on here with this little standoff? Why, why do we have this problem? Let's do this so we can see. Now you're, why are you red? Cause you want to go Yeah, this, yeah, why are you red? See, this is, that's not right. That shouldn't be a red, oh, that's red because they're pop, oh, because of this. 
See that? It was because this tr this feedback right there. So there we go. Sometimes though they do get into a point where they're just red, and if you replace them, they're good to go. Good to check that. All right. So now we should have at least construction of rails being able to go into here. And then I would like to hop over to here because I realized when I was thinking about that, we don't have this plastics. This is kind of the last thing getting out. And, oh, another thing to say is chemicals. I was talking the other day like, well, if we ever wanted to export chemicals from here, and, and I think we absolutely will, but I, I don't think there's any reason to panic because, and maybe we'll redesign it at some point, this is a chemicals warehouse here, but they shouldn't have a problem coming out here, going onto the main track briefly, and then coming in this way. It's a little bit of a long around. But I know when I was talking in the last one, I was thinking, oh, just maybe we could have the chemicals, you know, and balancing and all that stuff. Well, there we go. So we can have chemicals just come out and into this one or that way over, over maybe to the wherever else chemicals need to go. So just so you know, it's definitely almost certainly it will take some chemicals from here to here where I was kind of wishy-washy. But let's see about what we would do to get a train out from here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to just come in and delete that real quick. And I probably should put on my wire frame just so I can make them nice and straight. Not that it matters that much, but why not, right? And then what are we doing here? So we have to get in and out of this, and this is an electrical station. You can see I kind of flattened over this way because I'm thinking trying to make this a pretty big intersection where they can get every which way and not cause too many problems too steep okay maybe what you build your partner All right and then we want to make sure a train can get in here hopefully so Again, I, I don't see a lot of do this and we'll All right, just gotta make sure this matches. Here, we'll just do that. Yeah, I'm thinking we take this one. Good, look it'll make it across there. Um forget which side of that one I Oh, this is just a warehouse, so it's just one. I thought maybe it was a station with two, two connections. All right, so all right, do we just join them up? I think I do. Let's join them up. Hopefully, right before that intersection. So that might make signaling kind of interesting, but that definitely can get, I think we can get trains in every which way. And then just in case we ever wanted two plastic trains, we can kind of do this. We would stage a train on the inbound, and then we would have the outbound. Let's get rid of this little bit. And then we need to signal this, because even though it's not built yet, it, it's, oh, did I not? I can't put a thing in there. Right, and then this would be a regular signal. And then we can get rid of this signal. And then let's see about getting this. Yeah, that's that's not going to work. At least not the beginning of it. I think that's still plenty long. Game save. Still too steep, huh? Whoa. Well, that kind of stinks. Oh, it fixed itself. Okay. Well, I can live with that. Nah, I don't like that. 
I just don't like the way it looks. Come on. Give me, give me red. Right. Good. All right. So now we got chain in. I did shorten this up, which was probably. Yeah, let's do the regular out. Regular out and out. Right, and then the problem is we kind of need to signal this up at least a bit just to keep it clean. But then, yeah, this, this is going to be a real... What I'm not liking is I have just for this little stretch, I think I have to build a crisscross in order to get the trains in and out of here. Oh, angle too sharp. Huh? Oh, there you go. Okay, you like it from that way? All right, so let's commit to all of that. And then, yeah, they're not going to be able to build this unless I send them from this way, which is sort of a mess. Uh-oh. Really now what? Oh, you've got a red signal from Lord knows what. Uh, why, why are you red? Because somebody's all the way over here? Or are you feeding back? Yeah, why would that be red? Oh, Lord knows. You know what? I'm going to put a signal... Let's do a regular signal here, All right? And that'll split that in half. Look at that, it turned to green. <laughs> so it's like it was feeding, oh, because it's, a, oh, I know. It, because it was a chain signal, the next signal ahead that it was finding all the way over here, wherever the heck it went, was, see, like this side is saying red, like it was finding this signal all the way back here. I think the other thing I'd like to do is maybe put one in here to kind of separate two halves. And then we probably should put one here just to separate people that are working on that side. The less signaling, kind of the better, because it's just less chances for them to get caught up. Does it, but does that make sense? Like it, it was like it was finding itself. It was going all the way up and coming back. And, and the, because it's a chain signal, the next signal has to be green. Now, what are you doing now? Do we just have no workers because we've jammed everything up that thoroughly? Yeah, no workers. Um, you know what? We're going to... Let's just cancel. And, and let this... Give this a chance to, to clear out a bit. Yeah, see? Because we've got it all backed up, we're not getting any workers. And because we're not getting any workers, we're all backed up. So, yeah. We'll, we'll come back when that clears out in a minute. All right, so anyway, I think what I need to do to get this built at least as mostly as I can is as much as part of me kind of wants to just, part of me just wants to auto build more of it or this stretch will, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll go through. Nah, you know what? I cancel that. We're just, we're just probably going to auto build that. Yeah, well, we'll decide. Let's see how I feel about auto building that stretch. We could build like a loop around or something. <laughs> anyway, but at least we'll be able to get in this way if we purchase this much, right? And to me, it feels like we're still auto constructing. We're just not having to. We're just not having to do it for the whole entire stretch. And so we'll. Yeah, and see that these are both green. So let's just see if we send. We were working on this. So this whole this whole section is done. I think all the track is in here, not electrified yet, but I think I'll do that off camera. Just go around and electrify it and then assign these guys. But why don't I Oops, where is it? 
why don't we get this started to be worked on? All right, we'll just send out one train for now so they don't bump into each other too badly. And hopefully he'll get past that point, be able to turn around and come back. Good. So, how are we doing here? What do we have here that's not attached? Oh, that's right, our little oil thing. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't necessarily want to make a whole separate... Yeah, I don't want to make a whole separate thing. I wonder if we can just cut the oil. Like, in other words, the less... We already got a lot of connections on this track, and I like even this is getting kind of close, so I don't really want to bring another connection into this mess. So I'm thinking maybe we can... Let's just use some road leveling. Just because it's a bit easier. So I'm thinking we just tie this track into the other one, even if it looks a little bit goofy. Right, kind of went too far. Right, we would go... Okay. Didn't really need to level what I did. rocks why does that look so much higher than really I just did it a second ago buddy <laughs> okay I must have decided to use the excavator on a project but maybe that's good enough All right so we'd come somewhere like this Yeah, that's, yeah, I don't really like what's happening here, but again, I think it's better than, I don't, oop, missed. I, I just don't, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I don't like the way this is, as far as signaling goes. But it shouldn't be that busy an area. It's not like it's our main. How's that look? Yeah. Let's bring it straighter a little bit longer. See now we have that. Yeah, so we have that break in the line. Let's just do this actually. We got a lot of little construction projects anyhow. We can, we can make them all one. All right, I really can't see with those trees. to go wide there, doesn't it? Alright, so what I don't like about this I'm not too worried about the road itself being backed up because I don't picture too much traffic there either way. Like, as we when we signaled it, we would have to do like chain in here and then out here. So that's yeah. I think I think we'll be okay for the moment, but we do want to get two trains working into here, don't we? All right, 
right, now that that guy's past that, let's commit to this. Let's see, this guy's, because we have this signal here, we're going to get a red signal on this one unless we... Yeah, let's let this guy build. We're not in that much of a hurry. We got 10 tons of stuff to build. We'll let one train, rail crane for now work in there. Now, how are we doing over here? Now, what is that guy doing? What? Really? Well, that... That could help explain why we're having a problem with getting people happy. <laughs> Where's this waypoint? Okay, well, yeah, you know what? We need to keep an eye on this guy, don't we? Now, is there any... Let's just check them all. Yeah, that guy's fine. This guy... Yeah, he's fine. Yep, yeah, you're fine. And I think this is another one. Yeah, so <laughs> we put an extra train on here. Or put a train on here. But that's... Look, they're going to drive those 517 passengers around. And, and uh, you know, they're just going to all, like, run out of time. Total traveling time. Like, they're just going to all start disappearing off the train. Okay. Well, let's get him back in the loop. You know, I'm just going to keep that open. Or at least partially open until... Where is he exactly? He's... Well, he's heading back up. Yeah, and, th and this... I don't know if you guys watched the episodes many... Quite a few ago, like, I don't know, a month ago or three weeks ago. Where I was having problems getting him in here. And it's because this little section of track here or something wasn't connected. And somebody... And I had recorded a few episodes ahead, and somebody finally pointed it out around the same time I found it. But, you know, let's get him back in here. I think he'll be okay if I just deleted these. Yeah, see, look, the passengers are starting to disappear. So he went quite a distance and turned around before he came back. And, yeah, see, so let's delete this waypoint. And he'll sneak on over there and in. I think he's pretty much home free now, but yeah, let's let's see. Gets past it. Yeah, we'll delete that waypoint. Okay, well that's that's a positive. Now the other thing I'm noticing is he has less stops, but we'll we'll worry about balancing that out. But that's certainly that's not going to help. You know, when I was sitting there when I was watching things, let's turn off this wireframe for a second. I was sitting there and I was watching things. Uh, and this problem, we're going to figure that out in a second, too. Um, but I was, I'm like, how are these trains getting so back-to-back, -back, right? Like, they shouldn't be waiting because I'm kind of, like, I'm spacing them out with, like, no signaling. So they should be, like, kind of waiting here for this. Like, there's no signals all the way around, to, like, here. So they should be giving them a pretty good gap in between. But then I noticed that the trains were back-to-back. Now, this, yeah, let's go look at a Tupaflu construction office. Every time I assign a footpath, th these guys get a question mark on them. What I'm thinking is, and they're going to like this footpath to do it, maybe the better thing to do would be to send them, send them to one of these other stops to get people and, and see if that fixes it. It's kind of a weird... Yeah, there's Etupaflu construction, and I want you to get workers. Let's just say from this stop. Right? So let's X that. Yeah, see, and you're stuck in limbo at this point. So let's just cancel that. And then this guy's probably going to end up with the same problem. Unless he... No, he's just going to spin around good because he's got a new assignment. Okay, good. So we can close this locomotive. Okay, well, good. Look, we found another... Certainly a potential problem for these people's travel time and, and not getting... Not getting to be completely happy. I'm glad we found that. 
that was sort of lucky that we did. Yeah, and this guy still has 10 tons of stuff. How about you two? Yeah, you don't have quite as many tons, do you? you know, I was thinking of that I didn't do. And I thought of it like after I started the episode and we looked down here. I can, I can attack this bridge from both sides. Might not be a bad idea. Make sure this guy's assigned. Oops, still not done that road. Done this one. Okay. Good. All right, we got distracted. What were we doing? All right, so we have our rail construction coming in and out of here. Very good. We'll just let one do that for now. We've got this signaled enough. It shouldn't be stopping the main line up. Now, did we... Yeah, let's get this guy reassigned. Hopefully this goes a little bit smoother. All right. And I'm going to try to get away with two. Let's see how that goes. I, I think... Well, let's just see how it goes. It may, it may cause a problem. We're going to come right back to that after they get a chance to... Or maybe we'll just sit here and wait half a minute and make sure they... When this guy gets in here, this one needs to be green. And look, it's already red. Why is it red? Uh, you know what? We need to probably signal this off. Anywhere they cross each other. Once you start getting into signaling, then you start fighting signaling. So let's do this. We're just going to do all chains. And I think that may cause problems. That's already chained. They need to be two-way, but... And we could probably shorten that distance up. But that should make... Yeah, because we got a signal here. That should make this one green. Yeah, so... So they both should be able to get in there. See, this one's green is what I was worried about going this way. And now they should both be able to get in there. Now that means... Yeah, this is all clear. These don't touch. These tracks... So we should be good up until here. And then we got this separating those two out. Now this one is just a single track, so we should be good there. And then as far as this goes, yeah, we need a way to get in here for construction, don't we? Uh, we could go... Yeah, that's going to be a mess. We could go and have them loop around and come back into here. So let's see, that's that's sort of another episode's problem. And yeah, there we go. So these two should be able to build in and out of there. Very good. All right, so we got that done. We're worked on. And look, we already have traffic jam here. <laughs> that's, I planned, I mean, that's, we will have a little, not traffic jam, but a little traffic. All right, now, how are you guys doing? Yeah, you're still, source of gravel is empty. Yeah, this is, wait a minute. Wait a second, why are you... Oh, did I have you... You know what, I may have had him working on something else. Yeah, he's going up to auto grab, which is a different topic for a different conversation. But you need to get your gravel from there and... Let's... Where are you getting your asphalt? Oh, yeah, you're... Yeah, well, you can get your gravel from here. There's no reason for you to go all up there. But concrete and grass fault. Yeah, so I, I think we're just... I, I did come in here and look in between the episodes. But yeah, look at this. We're just waiting on the train. Now, there was a train that was supposed to be on the way. Look, and this guy is out by the time he gets to here. So we're. I bet you if we go to Quarryville... We're just still having this... Yeah, we're just still having a shortage of gravel, so... All right, well, we're just going to have to deal with that until... Yeah, and that's one of the reasons for building another quarry over here. Not that... I mean, it's sort of the end of the map. By the time we get done... Like, it, if, if I... <laughs> yeah, we, we could have built this a lot sooner so that we had more gravel supplied to the map, but, you know, in some ways... Yeah, I'm going to end the map, but if you were ever going to continue, maybe I'll even upload this map. You guys can continue on your own, like when I get to the, quote, done stage. 
you know, we could you could fill in the rest of the map if it didn't crash your computer. All right, so anyway, how are we doing? Just real quick. Oh, yeah, plenty of stuff. All right, next thing I wanted to do, when I was going around looking to see if people were happy, they are happy over here. But they, we, this is a town that we don't have a university in. And just for like an experimental purpose, I fully plan on building their own university. But, oh, did we get this done yet? Probably not. No, no, we have the bus stop here and we have a bus stop here. So I know we have some extra buses. I didn't really look where. Yeah, right here. Now, how? I want to get like a faster bus than a slower one. Though I don't know that it matters that much. It doesn't really tell me. Let's go to here. Oh, there it goes. It tells me there. Yeah, so this is going to be the faster bus that's sitting here. And I'm wondering if we can just... Let's just grab one of these guys for now. Because if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I want to take and say, I want you to come here. And then go to here. And then just get students... All right, and yeah, you're gonna just load in students. I don't think it matters. And then we're just gonna unload students here and start. So we'll keep an eye on this guy. We'll just leave him open for a little bit and see how it goes. All right, and the biggest thing is, will they survive the trip? Like, is that? I don't think that's going to be too long of a trip for them. But I don't never really paid that much attention. Do students and workers, if if the students travel the same distance as the workers, then I think we'll be okay. And then we can decide: do we even do a university over here? I mean, we could just do a couple buses, but I do want to keep an eye, like we, you know, getting enough college educated people over here so all right so let's take a look yeah and then to make sure we're here we're pretty good you know what let's up the number of people just because we're gonna dump a few more in there I don't I don't think this is gonna hurt well let's do 40 all right because I don't think we're getting we're not getting everyone over here educated and I don't think we need to, but why? I don't think we need to really limit it so much. Other than we may take some people out of here. Now, how are we doing? Yeah, this is a thing. We only have nine people in there. It's a little hard to judge in some ways, but there you go. See, like, happiness is tending to increase over here. And I'm not going to do anything about my low population until until we have that other section of town built. Yeah, so how are we doing? We got a house. Nobody's moved in, which is good. I kind of want to control that. Yeah, so I think what I want to do is pause the video. I, I kind of covered, I think... Oh, no, you know what? We, we can do... Let's do a little work together that I might do off-camera. Because I think what I want to do, this is Friday's episode, and the next episode will be a Saturday summary. And I think that in the Saturday summary, I would like to start dealing with the the escapes. Right? Look at that. We even had an, an increase. Like, I, I think I just want to make the Saturday summary. I mean, of course, we'll do our little bit of a normal summary, but, you know, I would like to just also get it to be you know where we're we're done with with the escapes and if even if it's it takes an extra long time for me to do the saturday summary now are we yeah good luck good 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 so we can get into here and get that built which is great because this is the work i think we can do for a few minutes as we wind up the episode it's just coming to here now oh you know what let's uh oh, nice <laughs> let's Leave that open. We're going to shrink this down. And we're going to come over to here and make sure... Yep, students. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is going to mess them up. 
because we have students waiting and it's like we're not going to get many buses for students but like in other words are they going to come here and wait but it's going to take like hours and hours for the bus to get back and forth i'm not sure if that's going to mess things up or not good lord buddy you couldn't go much slower could you this must be a union job <laughs> anyway all right so so the game saved. Yeah, so I think let's head over here. And then, you know, in the next episode, we'll start worrying more about the escapes. But one of the things I noticed when I was just thinking about what I could assign to different people. And speaking of that, one last thing. Yeah, I want to get this guy helping with these. Just so this, so this loop will be done. But we can put in a few more roads, like... And the other thing I didn't do is really like clean this mess up. So in other words, like if, if I can make these less projects, it will be much, much better as far as getting this stuff done more quickly. So I think for the most part, we're going with, oops, let's take that back a little bit. All right, and I'll attach that up. This is it's not, it's not going to be the, Right. Um, yeah. Are you attached? Yeah. Say, so, and then I'll come in here and I'll leave that go for a minute. All right, and then this one can get attached. And then I can delete this bit. And then you are just sort of a mess up in here. But if I delete just that section, I should be able to... Yeah, let's cheat it this way. Yeah. That's all right. It's sort of the end of the road. And we... I know I didn't do too much there, but I think I cut down on the things. And then say, like, this is like a separate construction here. Really just going to take more time. And it's because they attached this footpath. All right, same thing like here. Eh, too dangerous to use that. So I can get rid of, oops, get rid of that footpath. That's, that's pretty good there. Then this can't get attached quite yet. And this is pretty good here with nothing attached to it. And then these can be attached now because this road is done, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Right, yeah. It would highlight if it wasn't finished. And then that shouldn't be attached yet. And then this... Well, this gets attached from the other way. And yeah, see how having these attached makes them... It just really, truly slows them down. But this one... Could be attached. Yeah, let's go... This one's kind of a toughie. Yeah, see if it's... Mm. All right. Well, hopefully when it gets built, it won't be any different and it, and it won't cause a problem. And then this, uh, I really should have gotten this done first, right? Really? No, it doesn't like that. Unfortunately... Can we go like, I think that's right in the middle there. Oop. Yeah, it's about to redo that one. I should have got out here and done that before we started. See, and then we have a lot of this kind of stuff going on. Yeah, what is this? That's a kindergarten. Yeah, see, what I want to do is sort of... Uh, 
Uh, you know what? That'll be okay, actually. I think I want to go from this end. There we go, and then... Yeah, so what are we doing with this? Yeah, that's that. But then how are we getting in there? Yeah, this would be a little bit awkward, but we, we definitely need a road this way to get these houses hooked up. It's almost like I just stopped doing what needed to be done. Yeah, no, those aren't the straightest. And then these can be attached. All right. That gotten rid of. Yeah, that's all attached. These don't get attached yet. Yeah, so the question is here, this is a house, right? Yeah, I think I want another road. Yeah, and I think I want to get rid of this. From that point, let's get rid of that. You know what? We're going to get rid of all of that too. Then I'm going to come this way. Right, and then uh, maybe you're not going to work anyway, are you? Yeah. Okay. Will you. Hey, yeah, that worked. Yeah, nothing else that'll provide like a footpath over to this. I don't know if that hurts to have that many more intersections there, but. And then I won't attach this up, so that's one bigger long project we can attach these other things and yeah, you know what let's do that as well we can make that a little straighter a little jag there but I just want to make sure these two would attached and then we can have that and that so that that's like I keep saying it, it definitely will make things faster now this Looks like these could be attached. Huh? And this is already going, and then this road could be attached. Let us let me do this. Now what's the plan and the story with this? This is a shopping center. And so they really probably could have footpaths in and out of here. Why is this one... Yeah, you know what I don't like about this shopping center? We're going to demolish it. And we're going to put... Put it this way, right? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, what happened? Yeah, no, we could do it this way. Oh, no, you know what? We don't have the... Yeah, this is this is where having a few more options on when things like road cargo station connections would be good. Yeah, we're gonna get that like that, and then we need to get let's get a road cargo station. I can't see. Like here. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Let's do. Uh, yeah, this might be a little goofy, but. Yeah, not too bad. And that'll be walking road here, just a regular road to there. We'll get this connection going. Oop, I missed. Right. Yeah. So, do I want all these footpaths for the moment? Absolutely not. We'll figure them out later. And that broke this up into a bunch of little sections, which is so what is this? Oh yeah, the university. Might as well be a walking road. At least up until this point. 
All right, walking road there to get in if they want to from here, but we can also have a footpath there. There. Well, I think I've probably done enough of this on camera. You get the idea. I'll come along and start, you know, cleaning this up a little bit more. We're not quite ready, but we can get these roads off to here. And then, you know, I think as I get up into here, let's get more of this stuff finished. This guy could be done. Oh, you know what? Let's see. How are we making out with our bus? Oh, we got a few students. Yeah, let's take a look at this and then we'll call it an episode. And we'll come back and do a Saturday summary. I probably should have. Yeah, so this is. We have a few students. And. Yeah, they've got five hours travel time. Yeah, I think we're going to be in pretty good shape. Though we don't have an impressive number of students. Now, how many people do we have? Yeah, you would hope we could get more students. Now there's 34 waiting. So I think the problem's going to be, you know, why do we have so few on the bus? And then are they, is this just going to make it worse? Or are they actually going to go to the school? Like, in other words, like these little kids, it could be making them worse for getting education. Like, the little kids need to go to here, but I don't think there's any... I mean, you could tell them where to go, but at the same time... At the same time, it's sort of... I can't tell, like, the university ones to go to one place and the others to go to the other. So hopefully they work that out and get educated in the meantime. So how are we doing? Are we... Yeah, we're up to... One hour and 56 minutes, and where are we at? Yeah, we're, we're halfway there. It's going to be... Right, are we halfway? Yeah, we're at least halfway. Now, see, these people... Some of them are at more. We can hit plus. Two hours. Yeah, I, th I think... Uh, we only get four hours traveling in the vehicle. Five hours total. Yeah, they don't wait long at those bus stops, which I guess is understandable, but like I said, if if even if just a few of them make it, we could always put another bus on here if if this I mean this is working, so maybe you know what now would be just pause it for half a second. Since they're all the way down this ah oh, though, you know what, I need to wait till them Yeah, you know what, I'll wait till after, but I'm gonna go grab this bus. Right, and I'll wait for good, because if I start them out now, they're both going to be like back to back. Though they'll probably end up that way anyway. But let's, uh, you yeah, know, we'll start time again. Just make confirm that they get in there. Now, they don't have to take a return trip. So what I'm saying is if I start this bus now, they're both going to be, I need to actually wait till this bus is down the other end, and then I'll start the other one. Again, I don't know. They'll probably end up back to back anyway, like every other bus in the game. But there we go. So we got some students going into the university here, right? Yeah, that's, I would have thought, oh, that's the one. <laughs> okay, well, I'm assuming they got in there. Good, so we have, should, yeah, let's just see how that goes, right? And I'm going to, as I pause the video and, or end the episode, I'll, uh, I'll let that go while I'm waiting for a few other things to get done. And on our last final note, yeah, we're, we're getting this built. So we'll see. We'll come back and do a Saturday summary, and the, the crux of our Saturday summary will be about our escapees, and we'll see if getting that other train straightened out. I have a feeling that that was a big chunk of our problem. So, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.